almost as soon as I'm sure. That's why I'm not going to make everything. Stuff that's on the floor is a, a starch. I did a starch mold. Over again, the whole thing tipped over. Uh, they wouldn't let me go back in the trailer because there was a seal on it. Once they put a seal on it, it's illegal for the driver to go in the trailer because now they pretty much rented that space. So you can't go back in there. It's like a federal law, whatever law it is. So all I did was I told them about it. As you can look at the walls to see how much damage they can get to my equipment. The only cool thing about it is they acknowledged it. And the bad thing is I gotta get this thing um, cleaned out because nobody wants a dirty trailer. I'll be picking up food, stuff that people eat every day. So they're gonna look at this trailer when they expect it. They'll probably reject my load more than likely. So I got some options, I need to do it myself. I had the Walmart, just mopping here. And all the new pictures, all they really care about is the floor. They care about the floor, they care about how it smells. Not so much as the uh, scratches. That's gonna happen regardless, but. It just sucks, man. It's a brand new trailer. And all I have to do is wait. But um, they did acknowledge that they were at fault, so. Run me my bread. People don't care about it until it comes out of their pocket. That's how that works. That's exactly how that works. Imagine me going to shop right to go pick up a load and they look in here and see this. It looks horrendous. <sighs> Using a blower. Uh, I do this and I sweep. I normally don't have to use the blower, but because of the starch all over the place. Okay. So uh, mind you, this ain't the first one. I've had to come in here three times today. Just to get some of the nuts down. But it's not my first go around. chemical or nothing. I mean, everything is a chemical, but this ain't nothing that can hurt. People use starch for a lot of things, but it's like, they're not gonna sit there and test it. They don't know what, that's, what the substance is on the floor. So they're gonna try to deny the load because, uh, you know, it's the end of the day for one. 
I mean, they do get paid hourly, but if your boss ain't no overtime and then you get the truck that come through your facility looking like this, with this much mess, and you have to haul food, you gonna deny that load too. That's less for them to, uh, to do for the day. So yeah, I would deny me if I saw me. But that's just how I think. Some, some guys don't care, like, some drivers don't care. I care because I won't want nobody having my money and going through anything while they out there. I want them to be at peace and I want them to be quick smoothly for me. So that's just how I think. It's nasty, man. This is the worst that shall ever look. I mean, like when I had like a chemical on the floor, it was leaking out through my tires, coming through my trailer. That was crazy. Luckily, nobody cared. This is, this is crazy. Big spots, so at least make the first uh, 40 yards look in 40 yards, uh, 40 feet look presentable at least. So, like the first part, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't do this right. So, try to get as much out of it out as I can. Some of the stuff you want to deal with, you know. I say deal with it. Are you going to deal with it or are you not? You got a choice. I can't deal with it because I still got energy to run. So I'm like, let me just try to get it out the way as much as I can. Uh, between their time and then the washout, I don't know. Probably don't cost that much. If I do it myself, it'll be way cheaper, but. Nobody got time for that. Like I said, this is my third time coming through with these blowers and this boom. I got about an hour to tell my pickup again. And that pickup, I'm in Iowa right now. That pickup is going from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin, I got to go to Florida. Uh, Elkton, Florida. And it's uh, Pepsi. Pepsi, who we going for. Yo, you know, Pepsi don't play when you come through. They don't play. They don't play. Very strict because it's still food, even though it's soda. They consider that food, so they don't play that. They don't want the presentation of the bottles to be bad, cans, whatever. I wouldn't either if it was me. So, I'm trying to get it right. The cool thing about this blower is, uh, so you got spiders, uh, hard to reach places that you can't get to. Go to Walmart, go get to a $50 blower. This guy's doing $50. Uh, I've had it about two years. Um, takes about 20 minutes to charge. That same charge will last maybe like two days without it um, being hooked up. But uh, I just charge it every day, because I use it every day pretty much. But today, I've had the user about three times. So it's kind of getting crazy here. Now, the other thing I could do is get me a water bottle that has a, a spray dispenser on it. Because like I said, it's just starch, literally starch. Same consistency as cornstarch. Like, once you put water on it, it might break down. Uh, I don't think I want to do that right now. I think I want to keep doing what I'm doing. See if I can wig it and make it work.
guys probably can't see uh, as good as I can see because I'm here in real life, so probably looks like I'm sleeping and blowing a bunch of nothing, but I know you something. And, uh, oh yeah, like I said, the cool thing about the blower, uh, also, you got spiders. You know, instead of having to kill the spider, you blow that sucker, and he's gone. He, he, he'll run away. Well, if you get a chance, if the blower don't get to him. But, uh, I use the blower inside of inside my cab, and uh, inside of the semi, it blows everything. Like you get real, you get a lot of dust up in those uh, semis. So with the blower. To knock all that stuff down instead of having a sweep and use a blower and then like I said insects insects are everywhere the inside outside especially in the cold it gets warmer I mean I'm sorry especially when it starts getting colder they start running into the houses this is pretty much a house on wheels so they're going they trying to get in but with this blower here I ain't with it <laughs> Lord knows I don't like bugs. I think they're running my blood. Nobody likes bugs in my family. We're not bug people. I try my best not to kill them, but uh, somebody's got to go. Man. See, right now, I could be reading my book, you know, studying on something. But here I am. Out of dusty ass Oh man. The wall offs I can deal with because once you start loading and unloading and all that stuff, the walls are going to get cut up like that. They're going to get scratched up. So if you rent a trailer, make sure you take pictures of the inside of the trailer. Otherwise, they're going to take your whole deposit every time. I learned that it's always better to just buy you a trailer. Even if you ain't got a semi, buy you a trail and get it over with. Man. Bad thing is, you gotta register that thing as a car, as a vehicle. So, well, it is a vehicle pretty much. You gotta pay all them tax fees. But, saves you a lot of money throughout the year. Like when I was renting my trailers, and when I worked for companies and I rented trailers, whew, I must have been paying like $300 a week for the trailer alone, not including the, the, um, the insurance. Yeah, gotta have insurance. Yep. So, it, it definitely ain't no hoe, you know? Definitely ain't no hoe. The trailer alone is about twelve to $1,500 a month. Not including if you flatten your tire on the trailer, you know, got a lot to deal with, but hopefully you are smart and uh, you save your money. Just because you make money, I mean, you should be spending your money. That's how that works. Otherwise, you run out of business, you know. I had to learn that at an early age. Don't let nobody run you out of business. When I say when you out of business, save your money. Because rainy days like these, man. Now, if that company had said, no, we're not gonna do this. We didn't do this to your trailer. I would be stuck with this deal. But luckily for me, I have pictures of my trailer. When I do my pre-trip, I incorporate that because people will do you in when they see that you running on your own. You know, they try to, make a fool out of you and say, oh, no, we didn't do that. And that's when iPhones and Androids come in. You know, it's cool to have a picture because with a picture, also you can do a timestamp on that picture or look for the timestamp better yet. And uh, timestamp don't lie. Then I have to go into my computer and fix, <laughs> fix the time to make it look like it. You know, I probably could show before and after pictures. But you know, in this world, you need documentation, you need proof. <sighs> Man, 
When you do everything, you need proof, so. Yeah. the nasty ones. And guess what's after this, after this wall right here? After this wall, it's me. What they do is they crawl out of this wall, because I'm at the back of the trailer, you know? They crawl out of that wall, and they try to end up in my truck. But, uh, <laughs> I bomb that sucker. I, sometimes I get me a hotel room while I'm bombing it. Like I literally go to Walmart and I bomb the trailer. And uh, you'd be surprised what comes out, what you're sleeping around actually. And I also read somewhere that uh, <laughs> once a year we swallow a spider. I think it was something like that. Once every once every year, or once every couple of years, we swallow seven spiders or something like that. Some crazy mess they done concocted on Google, I found. Once I heard that, oh no. I got to get me a blower. I got to start bombing stuff. I try not to bomb this unless like, I'm on like a, a break, like a real break, like a 34 hour break or something. Because you don't want no odor in your trailer, especially no chemical smell. That's why I like when, you, when you're driving your car, you might see a trailer with holes in it or like vents, or uh, you might even see the trailer doors open on some trailers. While, you, while you're driving your car, you might look and say, oh, why is doors open? But uh, he's trying to get that smell out. You know? I think this should be sufficient, hopefully. One time I had a uh, sheriff hop on my trailer while I was trying to clean the route. And he took my license and registration, phone number and all of that. <laughs> he ran my name for warrants. I was like, you cornball. And I'm out here just working, that's all I do. I don't sell drugs. I ain't out here trying to knock nobody over. I just worked, but he felt the need to come. This was like two days ago. He felt the need to come in here and ask me my name. So I asked him why, you know what he did? He said, I'll talk to you soon, sit tight. Like where am I go? I'm up here cleaning, minding my business. He talking about some sit tight. <laughs> like, like he pulled me over or something. <laughs> Tell you man, people are weirdos, man. That's why you gotta document everything. They don't like when we pull out these cameras, but what else we got to protect ourselves? And then, even pulling out a camera ain't always good. <laughs> they snatch your phone and delete it, what you gonna do? So when they grab you, you better hit that lock button real quick. <laughs> it's a sad world, man. I pray nobody gotta go through that, and I hope that if they go through that, their temperament is, is uh, sufficient enough to get past and get by, because these cops are looking to kill, they're trained to kill. Yep, trained to kill. I used to ask why, nah, nah. No point in asking why. No point. 
See, when I ask questions, I'm trying to lean toward a solution. It ain't nothing. Otherwise, they would have been stopped. Somebody would have came up with something. Trying to clean it out, man. This right here is a brand new trailer. Cheese wall. This is all off of one load. One load. Who who did kill? No, uh, it's just uh, the, the paint. <laughs> this is this is crazy, man. It's crazy. Now, if I mess up they stuff. You know, they be wanting to sue you, all type of. Like for once, I went into a warehouse and they say, hey, Poppy, you know how to work forklift? I said, yeah, I know how to work forklift, what's up? I hop on the forklift, the forklift died on me, at least I thought. He told me I broke his forklift and um, the Poppy let me go, he let me leave after they loaded my trailer. I get something in the mail that says, I'm being sued for a forklift. <laughs> you know, mind you, I documented that whole thing. Like, I stay with my camera. I got my phone camera, and also I have a hat that I wear that has a camera. I don't play no games. And also, for my trailer, it's got a camera. You look real close. We not playing. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but everything should be documented. Everything. Everything. I done came too, like too, too close to those encounters that we hear about. You know, so I'm trying my best to stay out the way. I wish they'd stay out of my way, but that's not the way that is. Uh, all I could do is just roll through, see what they said. That's that. A little better than it did, I guess. See you later.